I'm Alicia, and thought I would show you this video of me getting into bed tonight. Maybe it'll help a little bit. Uh, to get started, I'm a C5, C7 incomplete, and have a pretty decent hand movement, and not a lot of grip strength, but, um, but decent movement. And, uh, let's see, good, decent biceps, uh, limpy triceps. So, just getting started. Um, that's where I'm at. Okay, so I guess the first thing I want to talk to you about is, I know I'm coming from a power chair and I saw in your video you're in, in a manual, but for me, um, I have to remove this side guard. But the principles are going to be the same, and I know you're wondering how to get past your um, side guard. And when I'm in a manual chair, I have like permanent side guards too. So I have to get myself torqued and twisted forward so I could get on the edge of my seat. And I basically do that the same way that I'm about to transfer. And that is by laying over my lap and keep twisting my shoulders until I scooch myself out literally quarter half inch at a time. I will get my left side out, left right side out, left side out. And so I just keep doing that and then I'll reposition my feet. So I'm going to demonstrate that a little bit. I do have to take this side guard off because it's, it's way up here too close, this leg guard. So... I'll show that and then I get this arm out of my way the armrest and then basically I'm just getting my sliding board at this point and I'm trying to get it I'm gonna get it under my leg and um, you know of course depending on your tricep strength and your bicep strength on how you need to position your upper body to keep your balance but the first thing um, is foot um, all the way, is your foot placement so there is some balance in your skeletal system. And if your feet are, if your, your heels and your feet are too far in front of your knee, then you're not gonna be stable. And if they're too far tucked underneath your back this way, they're not gonna be stable. So you really need to try to keep your knee and your ankle, all that at a 45. And if you'll do that, the first thing of a good transfer is, is where are your feet? And you may have to maneuver your feet a few times in that transfer to keep them where you can depend on your lap. And for a good transfer, you have to get this upper body part. We're trying to, you know, when your therapist is in front of you and then they put this sliding board under you, they're in, they're in the space to keep you safe, but they're really in that space that you need to be able to get over your lap. And so it's very difficult because it's keeping most of the weight, even if you're a little bit at a 45 or like this is still most of that, most of my weight is coming down through my pelvic area and my hips, and that's the area I need to be light. So it's not a matter of how strong you are. I used to be a lot stronger and could do my transfers, um, like strength, muscle them up, and then uh, breeze spray my neck. It's, it's a little story, but anyway, um, my incompleteness became very less incomplete. And so now I'm extremely weak in my upper body, so I don't have the strength to power through transfer. So I had to go back we had to learn all new techniques um, a couple years ago. So um, it is hard and it's scary, but it's doable. And you just have to overcome that fear. And that doesn't mean you're not gonna be afraid. It means you're gonna do it anyway. So of course, first thing I do is get the board under me. And so um, one way is I'll just kinda grab it in here, you know, and get, I go all the way down to my wrist almost. So I got a good pull. And then I just keep tucking it. And then I get myself back up. And then I'll readjust it up here. Okay, now that's that's really good under my hip. Now I got half the board under me. And that's important to me because when I maneuver, I don't want that board sliding off my cushion. That scares me, so it bends my thing. Okay, so the next thing I'm gonna do is you have to fall forward over your lap and it sounds more dramatic than it is but my physical therapist we had to go over this and go over this and he would just literally sit in front of me and let me follow my lap and trust that my skeletal system my foot placement was going to help hold me um, in place and not let me face plant which is exactly what you think is about to happen so it's all kind of in one move you have to get the physics of momentum and catapulting yourself you have to think about it that way so it's just like rolling over. You know, you're gonna go left, right, left, right. You gotta get your upper shoulders trying to get that momentum so that when you go and you're really trying to torque yourself over to get your whole body to turn. I mean, we're roll, you're rolling your whole body from your shoulders, right? So 
same, the same idea. You've got to get this, your hips and your butt and everything's got to go from here to here. And we're not going to be strong enough to do it. So you have to get all of this over your knees. And when you can do that, then your butt is lighter. Now, if you just fall and sit there, you're going to have as much trouble because you've got to have that momentum. It's like trying to roll over from a dead flat on your back. I can't do that. I'm sure you can't either. So you have to get momentum going for you. So I use this side as part of my momentum. So this one is going to keep me from crumpling over here. So you got to get your arm placed. If I try to place my arm and fold it backwards so I can hold myself here, I can work with this very slow, but still I'm trying to go left and now all my weight is on my left hip. So I'm really going to make this difficult for myself. So, um, that's not, this is not a good setup to even do this. It feels stable and I can push off of this and keep trying to work my hip and we're going nowhere. And it's going to be a lot of work. So that's why Instead, I got to get that arm out here, here, and even if you can't lock your elbow, that's okay. Come down. I'm on my elbow right now, and I can do that through my shoulder, and still, that will be better because I'll even sometimes put my elbow in that little groove right there, and it's kind of keeping me stable here. Now I feel stable, and then I'm going to then throw my head more this way towards this leg because I need my weight to go onto this side of my body as much as possible so my butt will slide. And at the same time I'm going to do that, I'm going to let my weight come up through my shoulder like this and then I'm going to push off of this. So here's what we do. Now it ain't pretty, but I'm on my bed. And so then I just got to get myself worked back up, which my sliding board is still really good underneath this hip. So I can grab back here and get myself up here and fall back over here. And then typically while I'm here anyway, I just go ahead and get this leg, crawl back on my elbow. And if you pull at your knee, it's going to be much heavier than if you just get a little lower and grab your ankle and go there. And now that it's up here, then I can, you know, maneuver better. And then I'll just keep working my way back over my lap. I'm very much on this bed now. And then I'll do the same. I'll just keep working this leg over. And then, same thing, reach down here, come up underneath my ankle instead of just pulling my leg. But that's individual, however you want to get your legs on. But this is just how I do it. I'm still laying forward. I mean, I could just lay here all night. Not really. But, and then I'm on my bed. And then I'll just, I'll keep, um, like I'm down here towards the end. Because I, I can transfer from the other side too, but my back would have been to the camera. Which is typically what I do because it gets my butt further up where it needs to be. So typically I transfer off of that side. But either way works. Um, but from here, the way I shimmy back up is the same thing. I just keep, keep throwing this. And then the other shoulder. Like I said, it's, you know, you're going a half inch at a time, but you can, you can get yourself in bed or just throw yourself backwards, which is exactly what I would do. <laughs> I just throw myself backwards and then my spasms will take off and um, once I'm stiff as a board, it's a little easier to turn over. So anyway, I hope that um, I hope that helped. And um, yeah, there we go. You got this. <laughs>